Mika left the protection of his farmhouse to take his flock up to the high part of the mountain. On the other side of the river, a beautiful Lamia, a vast mythological creature, was combing her long locks with a bright golden comb. Before nightfall, you must predict the name of the child I'm carrying inside me. You're going to call him Aitor. Immediately, the beautiful Lamia became a stone bridge and Mikkel was able to take his flock across to the higher part of the mountain. Legend has it that the child who was born to the Lamia had seven children and they created the seven provinces of Euskal Herria, the Basque country. We need to go back some 6,000 years before Christ to the times when the people that lived in between the Cantabrian mountain range and the Pyrenees spoke Euskera. Between the first and third centuries after Christ, Proto-Basque language spread as far as the Garoñ to the north, Andorra to the east, Saragossa to the south, and Burgos to the southwest. It is one of the languages that has no Indo-European origin, and based on this premise, numerous linguists have tried to compare it to other languages. Therefore, Euskera continues to be a language of unknown origin. In the first century, Euskera territory was larger than nowadays. The first words written in Euskera belong to this period. They were found on tombstones in Aquitaine. However, it was not until the 16th century that the first book written completely in Euskera was published. The so-called Euskera Renaissance took place in the 19th century. The first newspaper in Euskera was published then. Between 1936 and 1976, Franco regime persecuted Euskera severely, especially in Biscaya and Guipuzcoa. Later on, researcher Coldo Zuazo created a new linguistic map in which he distinguished six dialects, Lapurdian, Lower Navarres, Suletin, Guipuzcoan, Biscayan and Navarres. Euskal Chaindia, the Academy of the Basque Language, is reinforcing its role in favor of the standardization of Euskera. In the 1968 Aranzazu Congress, Euskal Chaindia finally decided to establish and promote a new register called Euskera Batua, or Standard Basque Language. The unification of the language was based on the main dialects of Navarre, Guipuzcoa, and Laburde. 1960s. The recovery of Euskera has started. The first Ikastola schools come up into existence, offering children the chance to study only in Euskera. The movement in favor of Basque culture starts. The coordinator for Basque language teaching, AECA, is also created so that adults may have the chance to learn Euskera. Along with the network of Icastolas, state schools in which classes are only taught in Euskera or D-model schools were established. We have realized that in order to spread Euskera all over the world, information as well as communication technologies are suitable tools. We Basques are the result of the work of our predecessors. Euskera continues to be alive and holding up to its new way of being becomes essential to maintain our most valuable treasure so that it can last for the next 6,000 years.